the country and giving you some political developments from across Nigeria. Hello and welcome to Political Tidbits. I am Ogie Ihimekme. Ahead of the 2023 polls, election observers, particularly the journalists, have been told to uphold ethics of their profession. Governor Godwin Obaseki, who made the call at the convocation ceremony of the Edo State University, noted the critical role of journalists in election coverage and asked them to desist from information capable of causing violence. There is an imperative to ensure that journalistic ethics are upheld across media platforms and that media is socially responsible in the discharge of his activities so that the generality of people are best served with content that will cause them to make the best judgments in the elections and in other spheres of life. 177 member election tribunal has been inaugurated by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Uluka Ode Ariwola, ahead of the 2023 elections addressing members of the tribunal during the inauguration in Abuja. Justice Ariwo Ola advised them to conduct their affairs within the ambit of the law. There is no doubt that temptations, tribulations, intimidations, and even sheer blackmails may be unleashed on you. But as thoroughbred judicial officers, you must guide your loin to rise above them and do what will hand you accolades from your creator and also from the court of public opinion. The governorship candidate of the Young Progressive Party, YPP, in Akwaibon State, Senator Albert Ackman, has promised free and compulsory education for the people in the state if elected as governor. He made the promise during the war to world campaigns in the state. Free to free compulsory and qualitative education. And if you don't appreciate education, who can who appreciate it will be done with. I'm having sense to you. So I want to assure you, can your life can never remain the same again. Uh -huh. Former Director General of the National Directorate of Employment, Nancy Rula Dan says. The pedigree of the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and his running mate, Kashim Shatima, remains the selling point of the former Lagos State and Borno State governors to ascend to the presidency in 2023. Speaking at the swearing in of the National APC Supporters Group in Abuja, Ladan also noted that the future of the party lies in the hands of the support groups in view of the strategic role they play before, during and after elections. And I'm sure if you look at what happened in Lagos, what he did when he was governor and what he put in place up to now, if he can do the same thing, if he can form a very formidable economic team, I'm telling you once we have a vibrant economy, issue of kidnapping, Cattle wrestling, banditry, arm robbery, it will be issue of the past. Because once you have a good economy, in terms of youth employment, you are there. In terms of creation of jobs, you are there. In terms of easy life, you are there because things will be stabilized. Election is won by the food soldiers. And these are the various support groups. They are the foot soldiers. I'm telling you, you can go to your village, you can talk to your people. But it's somebody that cannot even go home and talk to them. And at the end of the day, the members of the support groups are normally the ones that serve as agents in our various polling units. Politics is not a do or die affair, but we have faith. In we have faith in Kashim Shetima. We need to do anything legally possible to make sure that 
all our various candidates, as far as APC is concerned, win election without any problem. The Obidati Presidential Campaign Council says the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi will no longer be part of debate without other parties' candidates, particularly the you candidate know, if we say of the we All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Ametinubu, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar. Director General of the Campaign Council, Doi Okube, was reacting to the presidential debate held on Sunday as the APC candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu was absent and the PDP candidate Atiku Abubaka was represented by his running mate Ifain Okowa. You know, if we say we want to have a presidential debate, then let it be a presidential debate. If you want to have a vice presidential debate, let it be a vice presidential debate, not a mixed match. It doesn't make sense. You know, it's not, it's not being unduly difficult, but let us begin to learn to do things properly. If you want to debate presidents or you know, presidential candidates, so let us do it. But you know, this, if this, you know, this attitude of nothing, anything goes, we've got to get away from that. Thus, we withdraw the curtain for today. Join us, save time tomorrow for more. I am Oge Ihimekme. All right, thank you so much for staying with us. Let us uh, 